Hello, Grandma DC here. Shh. My son is helping me. Be very, very quiet. No, no, no. <laughs> so here's the uh, chicken pen. We're working on the hen boxes I had that broke down years ago. And we've got a fence going across here now with a gate area. And I've got the other little chicken barn on the other side, which is where the new babies will go when they get big enough. After they get big enough that the snake can't eat them. And this is going to be where the hens are going to lay eggs. This lifts up. And you can get inside. I'm going to put some straw and stuff in here. Oh, they're going to be so happy when I let them in. Can't wait. The tea about the new fence. That's going to keep you guys away from the chickens, I hope. Oh, what is on the other side of the fence? Probably something good to eat. Guess where I found Mama this morning. She was inside that little chicken pen over there. She had gone through the back of it and had herself stuck inside. How she did it, I'll never know. Okay, check it out. I got Delilah to get in there. She's the only one I could catch that would get into the, the new pen area. And she's checking it out. She's like, ooh, this is great. All this straw, all this room without the roosters. <laughs> I dare see there'll be a tiny egg in here tomorrow. The others haven't figured out they can get in here yet. So, they will. Oh, neighbor's dog. Oh no. Scud, come on. The goats are checking out everything. We got the door open to the Morton building, so they got to go in and check it out. Curiosity killed the goat. They've been checking out the chicken pen too. Here he comes, just a Terran. He's coming back home. Through the fence, here he comes. Good boy! <laughs> Faster than a speeding bullet in your jam jams. Okay guys, what a busy busy and my son is like, do not show me. He says he doesn't want me to show the dog until he's had time to tell the people that he's taken the dog. I don't know what difference that would make. Um, Cody, come here baby. Oh. He's a little nervous because he's never had the freedom he has here. I always have my dog door open. He can go out back. He's got lots of room to roam around. And I've never seen him so peppy in my life. He's usually just laying around up there in the city in the apartment. And now he's like walking around. Of course, he's looking for my son. But anyway, he'll get used to us. And Angus, you've been... You've been a very good boy to Cody. Yes, I am, Mama. I like other dogs. Although sometimes you can get a little testy. Scud, you've been good to Cody. Yes, you have. Yes, you have. Cody. Cody's deaf. There's your face. There's a sweet face. Aw. Him's a good boy. And he has on his Star Wars coat to keep him warm. And we'll be going to the vet soon. Don't worry, son. Everything is going to be great. But for today, he's a little nervous. He keeps walking around looking for my son. There we go. Scud, you going to help him? Scud's been known to help geriatric dogs get back in the house over at my mother's. So he's been eating and drinking. There you are. <laughs> Hi, Tweety. <laughs> yes, Scud. Scud, no. <laughs> no greetings like that, Scudner. Scud says, I'm still getting to know this guy. I got a sniff. That's a dog for you. Okay, guys, I'm going to show you the spiralizer I got at uh, Aldi's. There it is. I've got it all set up and set together. And I have a uh, zucchini right here. And you just uh, plop it in there. 
and put this thing in the end of the zucchini and then we're going to turn it on and this is the greatest thing since sliced bread as far as I am concerned as soon as I figure out how to get it latched And that's all that's left, just a little, what does that look like, Christmas tree, with a little star on top. Bonus. Alrighty. And it's really not bad to clean up. You just actually pull the thing out and it cleans up real easy. Oh boy. Look at those. Yummy. Well, I've already had some cooked over here. Um, tonight, before I went to work, I was going to have some Italian sausage and zoodles. Doesn't that look delicious? I just boiled off the sausages until there wasn't much liquid left and then threw my zoodles in and let them steam. So we got the new dog here. I got the chicken pen. With, I got the nesting box re, pretty much redone. It is not perfect, but it's usable, and I think it'll keep the chickens in. And hello, Cody. It's okay. You stop pumping on him. We all know that you are, you know, Mr. Number One. Stop trying to do number 69. It's terrible. I know he's just showing dominance. You know, Scud. Scud the Dominator. Everywhere he goes is a disaster. That's why he's named Scud. But uh, we're all going to settle down here. Yes, I. how am I going to have more baby chicks and more babies and when I don't have time to breathe? I do not know, but I love it and I do do it. And everybody seems to be happy. And as a general rule, we don't have any bad accidents except for freaky ones occasionally. We will not talk about Elvis. No. So, uh, let's see. What are some other comments? Oh, someone... Dwayne, you said you had a macaw. Oh, well, we have to have a story about a macaw. I'm a little concerned. I have not seen spats today. The neighbors were out bulldozing a lot in their backyard today. I'm a little concerned about spatsy. Um, so, macaws. Yes. I had a friend one time, and we went to someone else's house, and they had this beautiful macaw. I think it was a macaw. May have been a red-headed conure. I don't think so. I think it was bigger than that. And it was on its little perch, and it's, you know, it's stepping back and forth like birds do, and it's going, no bite, no bite, no bite. And my friend stuck her finger in there and said, oh, you don't bite. And the bird nearly clipped the end of her finger off. And she started screaming, oh, no bite, no bite. I said, yep. They repeat what they hear. Learned that lesson that very day. So yeah, exotic birds and me, no. Chickens, yes, love chickens. All right guys, I'm gonna try to keep this one just a little bit short, because uh, I have to go to work here in about an hour and I'll probably just end up packing up my dinner and taking it with me, because I'm just not gonna have time to eat while I'm here. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I love you all. My son is like, do not show me on your channel. Don't show the dog. Don't do... I don't see why not. Sorry, he doesn't watch my channel. He won't know anyway. But um, I'm going to take care of the dog. And he's going to have a good home. And I just can't wait till he settles in and he's uh, comfortable. I found out he'd had hip surgery. That's one of the reasons he walks with his little hips down low and he can sometimes his leg drags. So we'll see what kind of medications we need to help with that. Scud! Scud is barking at him. We'll all get along eventually. I love you all. Bye bye.